Well, it's time for my April stock photography revenue report, and it isn't good. As I speculated last month, the types of photos that I have up on the stock sites aren't doing well during a global pandemic. However, it isn't all doom and gloom, but let's just get into the numbers and take a look. Now, my talk site this month is Pexels. This is the second month in a row where one of the free sites has done better than the traditional paid microstock sites for revenue. Now, I think the reason this happened this month is because I uploaded a lot of new photos to Pexels in March and April. So at the start of the COVID lockdown, I went into like a photo editing and uploading frenzy. You know, for me, only thing better than going out and, you know, traveling and taking photos is sitting back, taking a look at those photos, finding the best ones that I like and editing them. So at the start of the pandemic, you know, I needed a lot of stress relief. So I ended up spending a lot of time going through my past photos, ended up with like a hundred pretty good photos that I could upload to the stock and social sites. So what I did with those 100 photos is I used Photoloo to post one of those photos to the social sites every other day. And so I've got all my photos lined up between you know now and the end of June. But unfortunately, Photoloo, we can't upload to Pexels yet. So I just took all those photos and I uploaded them to the Pexels the same time I was scheduling them to go on the different social and stock sites. So like the social sites, if you upload a bunch of photos to Pexels, you're going to see your numbers jump up for that month. And when I uploaded all those photos, I think I was like 101st in the all time rank on Pexels. And, you know, because I uploaded so many photos over that month and a half, I moved up to 98th place in the all time rank. So that's why I think I saw a lot more donations from Pexels last month, just because I uploaded more photos. So my photos were getting more views and more views equals more donations. So it would be really nice if Pexels was this high every month, but I don't think it's really going to happen. It's not realistic for me to be able to create that many high quality photos every single month, given my schedule and the amount that I travel. However, it'd be really nice if it was, and it's good to see this month that Pexels was high, especially since a lot of the other stock sites were pretty low. Now, next on the list is Shutterstock. Now, $50 on Shutterstock isn't that bad for me. However, $23 of that came from one video upload. So I actually only made like $27 from my photo sales last month on Shutterstock. So if I only look at photo sales, I made $27 on Shutterstock and that is not good at all. That is by far the worst month that I've had for Shutterstock sales in a year. If you take a look at this chart, this is my Shutterstock sales for the year and the red line is where the $27 mark is. So I'm, you know, every month I've been above that and sometimes well above that. Now, I'm not sure if you can see the shading on the chart. I'm not sure why the Shutterstock website decided to use light blue to show the photo sales and a slightly darker light blue to show the video sales. But that video that I sold last month is the only video I've sold in over a year on Shutterstock. Now, a number of years back, I went through a phase where I was having a lot of fun with time lapses. And I uploaded a number of those time lapses to the stock sites. And I have made some sales from those videos over the years. But for the most part, most of my sales have been from photos. The amount that I made from videos was really quite small in the past. However, I recently decided I wanted to become like a better video shooter. So I've been going out at sunrise and practicing my video shooting and getting some of those clips and then uploading them to Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Deposit Photos and Pond5. And this is the first sale that I've gotten from any of those clips that I uploaded recently. Now, personally, I don't think that the clips that I've been uploading to the stock sites are anything special. I've still got a lot to learn about shooting video. But this one here of some birds on the waves caught somebody's attention and earned me $23. So I'm actually pretty happy about that. Next, I made a sale of a smaller print on Fine Art America. So that made me about $20. And I made about $16 on deposit photos, which is about average. However, fourth on my list was Adobe stock with only $11. Now that's really low for Adobe stock for me. If you take a look at this chart, you can see that over the past year, I'm always well over $11 every month. So that's a big drop. And I think it's pretty safe to say that that's probably because of the coronavirus. 
Now the rest of my sites are about normal or below normal. So overall, not a great month, but there were some bright spots with Pexels and with that video sale. So, you know, as I mentioned last month, a lot of my portfolio is travel photos. And because the travel industry is really hurting right now because of the lockdowns, you know, I would expect to see lower sales this month than I typically would this time of year. Now, if you found this video useful at all, give it a like. You know, on this channel, I talk about how you can make money selling your photos online. So if that interests you, make sure you subscribe. Stay safe and best of luck selling your photos online.